What's up metalheads? My name is Jamie. This is the Blades and EDC channel and today I got another knife overview for you of a couple of knives that are going to be in the knife sh knife cell that's coming up on September the 2nd for Patreon, September the 3rd for YouTube. And you're going to be hearing a lot of repetitive things in these videos because uh, somebody's searching for a certain knife and I only put the info in one video then they're not going to hear it. So I'll be brief. Patrons get 24-hour early access. It will be live September 2nd at 6 p.m. Eastern on Patreon. And it will go live uh, at 6 p.m. Eastern on September the 3rd on YouTube. Uh, tier 2 patrons get 5% off. Tier 3 patrons get 10% off. And patrons can also send knives in for upcoming knife sales. And you can also get discounts on anodizing work. And something else I need to mention real quick if you buy one of the knives in the knife cell, like let's say you buy this uh, Tucson TS-138 and you would like to have an anode, uh, let me know and before it gets shipped out, we can discuss what you want to have done and how much it will cost and see if you want to do it or not and I can do it before I ship the knives out to you. So, I need to wipe this one off real quick. Covered in fingerprints. But this knife is not about this, or this uh, video is not about this Tucson. There will be a video coming up about this Tucson, though. So keep an eye out for that if you're interested in it. This is the TS-138. Beautiful knife. Long design. It's a little chunker, but man, is it a good little chunker. All right, but this video is about... Oh, let me finish saying what I was saying. So... Um, if you have any questions about any of the knives you see in this video, leave a comment below or DM me on Instagram. Um, my Instagram will be linked in the description below and so will my Patreon. So if you want to click on that link, you can go see the three tiers and see what benefits you get by being a patron. And um, yeah, that's it. Uh, I, I don't make any money off any of these knives unless you're buying one of my knives. Um, most of these knives are not my knives though. My uh, What I'm trying to do is offer my patrons something tangible uh, instead of just an extra video here or there, early access to a video here or there, actually provide you early access to knives and discounts depending on your tiers. So um, I just got started, only done one knife sale so far. Uh, this next knife sale will be as big or bigger than the last knife sale from the looks of things. And I'm going to get as many overview videos as I can possibly get done done before the overview or before the sale. So, uh, yeah. Um, all the knives you're going to see as comparison knives will be other knives that are also going to be in the knife cell. So if you see any of those, you got questions or something you want to see an overview of soon, uh, comment and let me know. Or DM me on Instagram and let me know. And, um, yeah, we'll go from there. All right, if you're new here, subscribe, and if you enjoy the video, hit that like button for me. So, today we're going to be doing an overview of the Wii Sachi, and there will be two of these available in the knife cell, two different variations, JG10 with a uh, stonewash blade, and Kiyoborsha wood with a, I believe it's, I'm just going to call it a black wash blade, I'm not sure what the finish is, and both will come with their, uh, like new in the box, with their pouches and all that good stuff. I'm not gonna open both of them, but your stickers, your wipe, just like new. So both of them have the same. So let's jump right in and go over the specs on these and go from there. I'm gonna leave one sitting out right here and which one do I wanna play with? We'll play with this one. So this is the JG10 version. These have great action. These remind me a whole lot of a, uh, like a premium stinger would be what I would say. Um, Fair and Forge stinger reminds me a whole lot of the Fair and Forge stinger, only slightly better action, more premium materials. Both of these do have 20 CV blade steel, so that's a very good thing. Flat ground blade, flippers, but you can reverse flick with that fuller very easily. Well, I do it much better left-handed, but obviously there's no left-handed flicking for me right now. I have arthritis in my right knuckle, so um, till my injury heals up, it'll be all right-handed reverse flicking. But this uh, fuller they've cut out into these blades, 
they left it sharp enough to where you get good grip, but not sharp enough to where it like it hurts you or cuts you or anything. But they left it, they did it just right. If you're a lawnmower in the background, I apologize. It's the weekend and there's always somebody cutting the grass. And that's when I have the most time to make these videos is on the weekends. So yeah, I'm not sure what day you're seeing this, but I'm recording this on Saturday, uh, the 20th, the 20th, Saturday, August 20th. So um, yeah. So let me give you uh, some specs on these knives real quick. Then we'll go over some size comparisons. Good looking knives in my opinion. Great EDC blade shape, great looking knife. All right, overall length is 7.59 inches. Closed length is 4.29 inches. Blade length is 3.3 inches. Blade thickness is only 130,000, so super slicely. Flat ground blade. Uh, natural G10 handle on this one. Giaborsha wood handle on this one. They are right hand tip up only carry, so the pocket clips are not reversible. They weigh between three and 3.3 ounces, depending on which variation you buy. So somewhere in that three to 3.3 ounces. There's a couple, couple other options other than the two you see here also. So uh, yeah, I think that's about all we need for the specs there. The action is fantastic on both of these, just fantastic. Um, flipper action is really good. It's a very minimal flipper, so it doesn't stick out a whole lot and then when the blades open you still don't have a whole lot there so you can get down pretty close and make your uh, cuts it doesn't get in the way like some flippers do some flippers are just too big and the reverse flick is really good on both and you can thumb flick off that fuller also so yeah very very well done i wish more companies would make fullers like this that give you as much traction as this one does so or both of these do so they're both the same and you're getting uh, that Wii quality with these. Everybody knows Wii. You can push button the flipper or light switch the flipper. Works just as good either way. And it just flies out of there. Detent. Pretty stout, but not too stout. Just right. This is one of the, another one of those knives that would be hard to fell it. I'm going to try. Yeah, I mean, that's as light as I can pull. Yeah. See if I can fill a push button. No, push button's even worse. You gotta push hard enough for it to come out. Once you push that hard, it's coming out. Now, I can fell it on the reverse flick just because I'm using my arthritic <laughs> middle finger, <laughs> the one with arthritis, so I don't get the best uh, movement out of it. I know if I was doing this left-handed, I probably wouldn't fell it. Only reason I felt it when I do fell it is because I'm not getting my finger out of the way and it, my finger's staying stuck on it like that. I'm not able to pull it back fast enough. But yeah, fantastic action on these. They are in cage ceramic ball bearings. They do have a ceramic ball detent. Um, I'm not sure if the liners are titanium or steel. It's a, yeah, they are titanium liners. So I figured it would be with it being we. Yeah, all titanium liners, titanium pocket clip, titanium pivot screws, all titanium hardware. So, good looking knife. If I had this one, I like the way they did this G10 also. They made it look like wood grain in there. I don't know how well that's going to show up on camera. But this would look really good with some rip dye. You pick your favorite color. I'd probably try to do a blurple. I think blurple would look good with all the black, you know, everything else being black and that blade. Honestly, if I had them both, I'd probably put the Kia Borsha wood on this one, put the jade on this one, and do them like a blurple color. I'd flip-flop them around. Um, MSRP on, or what these are selling for right now, the wood one is selling for $162, and the JG10 is selling for $158. So, uh, like $4 difference to get the Kia Borsha wood over. Now, that's not what these will be priced in the knife sale. That's just what they are if you were to go out and buy them new. Whether I've checked White Mountain Knives, I've checked Blade HQ and Amazon. All of them are pretty much the exact same price. So, yeah. All right, let's give you some size comparisons. And we're going to have four knives in the comparisons. Because I'm going to leave these both out here so you guys can get a good look at them. All the knives you are about to see are also in the knife cell. So if you have any questions about any of these knives, comment below. 
or DM me on Instagram. Um, some of these I have not done overview videos for yet. So if you see one you would like to see a video about real soon, let me know that and I'll move that one up, up the list. So, All right, we're going to start with a, a similar knife, the Fair and Forge Stinger. These remind me of a premium Fair and Forge Stinger. Very similar knives. Um, yeah, Bet much better filling on these weeds than the Stinger. The Stinger's great, don't get me wrong, but it's not quite as good as these. How about the Wii Mini Buster? I'm going to try to get an overview of this Buster done pretty quickly. This is a Snex design. Good looking knife too, man. It blacked out with that bronze hardware. Looks so good. Alright, let's go ahead and do the Wii Coolix. We'll stay on the Wii and Civivi for a minute. And also... If you want anodizing done, like I custom anodized this, if you buy this knife uh, and you want it back to raw titanium, I'll strip it down for you. If you want to change the colors, let me know and we can uh, talk about pricing for that. If you're buying the knives, I'll give you a discount. If you Any of these knives that are titanium, if you want them anodized, let me know and we can work something out. Obviously, if it's black, I can't anodize that. That's a whole different process. Those are coded, so I am not able to uh, do anything with the black yet. So... Um, all right, we'll get the mini buster out of here. Let's go ahead and do the Civivi Chevalier. Chevalier looks good. That one's a uh, Kiyoborsha wood also. And let's go ahead and do uh, where's that? the Civivi Backlash. This is the one with the polished uh, Damascus blade. Beautiful knife. Trying to keep my finger out of your vision as much as possible, guys. But I can't wrap it up anymore. I gotta let it air out. So I apologize if you see the how terrible it looks. I think that's actually no. We do have we do have other Civivis. I need to pull them out. Actually, let me go ahead and pull these other Civivis out here. Uh, this is the Civivi. Praxis. Need to wipe that off. Craig uh, keeps his knives very well lubed, and they all have desiccant packs in them, so to make sure they stay nice and fresh for you. And all these knives will come with the boxes, just like new. There are a couple that there are some that won't, but I'll point those out whenever I get to those overviews. Um, Another Civivi here that will be in the cell. We can get it out also. Sorry guys, should have had these ready before I get started. Not bad. My bad. We have a Civivi Elementum. Let me get that one out of here minimum up here get this praxis out of here get these up here out the way and we also have keep in mind everything you're seeing is in the knife cell a wee banter Lots of cool knives. Lots of cool knives in this cell. I think that's all the Wii and Civivi. Yeah, I think that's all the Wii and Civivi knives. But uh, there's a lot of other knives I'm about to show you as comparisons also. I just wanted to keep, uh, keep everything in the family here. Love this banter, man. Talk about a great EDC knife. Great knife. So is the Elementum. Another great, great knife. All right, what else are we going to show you here? Let's go ahead and do the... Uh, Concept Main Street. Those are similar in size there. Um, we will go ahead and do the... Oh, man, what's the name of this one? 
I can never remember the name of this knife. Uh, what's it called? Spyderco. Uh, I can't remember the name of this one. Off the top of my head. Uh, it is the Watu. The Spyderco Watu. Yeah. We also have a more budget friendly Spyderco here. The Spyderco Astute. This Watu is sick. Carbon fiber, 20 CV. Compression lock. How about the Spider Coco Chaparral? That's the bird's eye maple version. And we also have the Chaparral with the sun and moon version. So there you go. Very cool spider coat knives. Love these knives. So thin. Great EDC knives. Just thin, lightweight, and good looking. Very good looking knives. At least in my opinion, they are. All right. The uh, Tucson TS138 we were just looking at a minute ago. Uh, the Spider Co. Autonomy 2. This one's an auto. Very cool knives in this knife cell. This one may be better than the last one, honestly. Last cell was pretty impressive, but this one may be better, honestly. Uh, what else we got here? How about the Hogue Deca? Or the Kaiser Theta? How about the Kaiser Delorme? Or the Kaiser Wanderer? Again, if you buy any of these knives, you want a manode, let me know. We'll work something out. Here's a really cool Kaiser. The Kaiser Assassin button lock. Got a beast of a Kaiser over here too, the Kaiser Maestro. It's a monster. Uh, how about we do some bench maids? The bench made mini Adamas. Pretty decent size comparison there. Almost identical in size. Of course, the Adamas is a little, a uh, little bit thicker, a little bit broader. Uh, yeah, we're going to the other end of the spectrum. We'll do the Benchmade bug out with the AWT aftermarket scales. And I can't remember who makes the titanium backspacer all aftermarket. Very nice custom built little mini bug out there. I really like that bug out. Or the Benchmade Foray. The blade reminds me of the 940. It's a beefier uh, Benchmade, too, heavier than most Benchmades. Here's one that uh, I'm going to have a hard time selling it because I want to buy it. The Benchmade Mini Freak. <laughs> it's not mine, by the way, but I, I really like this one a lot. A whole lot. All right, what else we got here that's going to be in the sale? Oh, here's a good one. Christensen Knife Works Maverick. Another knife I'd love to buy, but my bank account says you gotta stop, Jamie. You gotta stop. Just did back to school shopping. Uh, what else we got here? Let's let's throw out the uh, zero tolerance zero four five zero. This is titanium, also. This has zircotai. Pivot collars, thumb studs, pocket clip, and backspacer. They went all out on that one. Here's a really cool knife. This one does not come with the box. It comes in a, a wee pouch. And this was purchased on the secondary. And uh, 
it has been sharpened, but man, whoever sharpened it, I don't know if Neve sharpened this knife or who sharpened this damn thing, but my goodness. This is the Berg Blades Iron Pup. Very nice knife. And Jesus sharp. I mean, dangerously sharp. So sharp. Oh boy, a lot more is getting closer. My apologies if that's loud, guys. Uh, what else we got here we can do? Um, did I do? Yeah, I did that one, did that one, did that one, did that one. Oh, how about the Monterey Bay? The Monterey Bay knife Slayback. Another one I would love to buy. And another Monterey Bay over here I would love to buy. The EWC by Monterey Bay Knives. Hmm. Four fantastic knives sitting right there. How about the Quiet Carry IQ? Another one I really want. <laughs> I want them all, but you can't buy them all. Nope. This is a double detent knife. I always find myself looking for a lock bar, and it's a double detent. How about the uh, Kaiser Critical Mini? Another Christensen Knife Works. Same guy that designed the uh, Maverick designed that knife. And how about, oh, here's a good one. Here's a good one. The uh, Kaiser Gemini. Another Ray Laconico design. Super lightweight, super slicey blade. Very nice knife. I would definitely anodize that pocket clip. Maybe purple, but that's just me. <laughs> um, I think that's about all I have out here that's for the sale so far. Um, let me look and make sure I'm not missing any. I got a whole bunch down here, a whole box full of knives down here. I got to take out of the box for these videos, but... I think that's everything I've got for the knife sale. So now I'm going to give you my some of my regular comparison knives. And these knives you're about to see now are not in the knife sale. But these are just some more common knives that most people are going to have. And uh, give you a better idea of the size. So we will start with one of my all-time favorites. The QSP Pingwong. And then since QSP made it, we will go ahead and do the Vist Variant PE1. So, give you guys a better idea on size. How about the Benchmade Bugout? This is a good size comparison, although the Bugout's a lot thinner. But these are almost identical in length. Very similar knives. I mean, size-wise, other than the Benchmade's a lot thinner. Um, we'll go ahead and bring out the Spyderco Yojimbo 2. And the Spider Co. Para 3. And we'll go ahead and do the Dimco AD 20.5. Another good size comparison there. So that should give you guys an idea on the size of these knives. This is a pretty popular uh, model by Wii, anyway. So most people are probably already familiar with this model. Um, but if not, that should help you out and let you guys, uh, give you a good idea on the size of these knives. Fantastic action on these knives. Yeah. If I owned them both, I'd probably flip-flop for sure. I'd definitely put this jade scales with the black blade and the wood scales with the, uh, I'm not sure what that blade finish is. Is it bead blasted or... Say what it is, stone wash. They call that a stone wash, but I don't know. Yeah, I guess it is a stone wash. Yeah. All right, guys. If you have any question, questions about these knives or any of the knives you've seen that, other than the ones that I told you were not in the cell, any of the knives you've seen that were are going to be in the next cell, uh, comment below. DM me on ins Instagram. If there's any of those that I haven't done an overview of yet that you really want to see that you're very interested in, let me know in the comments below and I will move it up the list so you have uh, more time before the sale to check it out. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button for me. If you're new here, subscribe. 
and make sure your notifications are turned on whether you're already subscribed or you just subscribed because YouTube has a bad habit of turning notifications off for some weird reason. So make sure that bell's turned on so you're notified when I upload new videos. And I appreciate all of you very much and I will see you guys on the next one.